No. What are my options this time? I can Seagull and probably chump his berserkers with Rustic and make Sentinels to block and kill his Barrage Ogre, which would be really nice. If he would stop drawing spells, that'd be really good as well. Oh man, the Lux Cannon. That does make me uh, chumping with Rustic a little bit more awkward. But uh, I kind of have to do it. Well, I mean, I could block the... the Berserkers uh, with Sentinels, but then I drop to two, and he has a Barrage Ogre in play, which, as I mentioned earlier, is not really the place that anyone wants to be. Uh, so, what we have here is him on millions of life and two poison. Me with a couple of random poison guys in hand. I'm gonna just run this guy out and make the rebel. Like, because I still can't. I mean, I could always see. Uh, I could have played Tangle Angler instead. But. Might as well attack, why not? Probably gonna double block. As hopefully what can happen next is I can make Tangle Angler and surprise ambush. Well, what I mean, what I could do here is just block with the sentinels. Uh, but if I if I hope he doesn't actually if he stopped drawing spells for a second, that'd be quite nice. Which he seems to have. Okay, I'm gonna make both these guys. Make this guy. Um, it's slightly more mana efficient to tool up the Tangle Angler because I'm likely because if he plays a guy, I'm going to be tooling that up as well. But if he has another turn to slag, I don't want to lose my best guy. So and it's not dealing me any more poison to him this turn. So I'm just getting st stuck in with this guy. Snapsail Glider. That's. Hmm, I guess that's, that's, that should have been something I to, for me to consider as well. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. I feel quite uh, warm and cosy inside after drawing that card. Let's see the, uh, the ever popular multiple for one play. The Revel finally uh, becoming the harm well the harmonize I always wanted to be maybe I mean <laughs> with my poison team uh, what my the uh, drawing cards there are pretty embarrassing yeah there's no point in tooling up my acid web spider because uh, he could easily make some sort of flame bomb or something and then I'd be really embarrassed and he's nowhere near dying to damage. Like here, his Lux Cannon is probably going to be on poison killing duty. That's interesting. Um, and I'm going to have to wait on Wing Puncture. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on, let me see. Actually, uh, looking carefully, since this has two targets. Uh, it will try and do things. I, I believe it's gonna go for a last known information type deal. But uh, okay, Tangle Angler is unavoidably gonna bite the dust. Mm, 
the spider's going to have some lunch. Well, you know, if I'm going to be swinging recklessly with a guy, Solotron is a pretty good one to have on account of his untapping skills. But, uh, you know, obviously I could have made the brigade that turn. Let's see, are there any hasty flying guys? Well, if he, if he, I don't think so. I don't think there's any way from, any way that having Soliton would be bad here, and as opposed to Asurib Spider. But, uh, there we go. Finally made it. Ground him out with my, uh, with my deck this game. I've obviously fallen quite far behind on the clock here, talking to you guys so much. So I'm going to have to step on it a little bit next game. Yeah, everything seems fine. I've got as many artifact hate spells as I can have in my deck. I guess I could have Ardent Sphinx in there, but uh, I'm happy with the mana consistency so far. He chose to play, which is fine by me. Uh, he's also trying to kill me as soon as he can. Uh, he's making the turn one mocks, which fair enough. I mean, that, that's usually a, a sign that he's not probably not the best uh, because there's no reason to play the Ox Opal turn one. It only gives me more information about what's in his hand, uh, especially if he's not even activating it on turn two even. So I'm gonna play this Plate Mamba as per usual. I'm going to try pretty hard to, oh, well there you go, he's, see like if he'd just played it on turn 3, this would have been completely a surprise to me, and he really likes art trailing, just one for oneing. Uh, I'm going to put out my Ravel as opposed to the replica, because I want him, I want his artifacts to feel safe so they can come out of hiding and get destroyed by me. Gamma's Warden is a pretty massive guy. That's, I suppose that's one reasonable way, uh, one reasonable excuse to get rid of the Blight Mamba while you can. Uh, I'm gonna make this Fallen. He might decide to just hang back for this Warden, in which case that's fine. Oh man, he's really tooling his dude up here. Uh, that seems like a, an excellent Bonds of Quicksilver target. Uh, while I get get to work on him with uh, Tailjaw had fallen. Well actually, uh, what am I saying, he has an Accorder Shield. Uh, just ignore what I, just ignore what I was uh, just talking about there actually, so uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make this replica and see what happens. He's tooling his guy up some more. Uh, and I'm gonna murder the quarter shield. Like I, I specifically want that guy to tap. Uh, I want to start drawing some cards. I, I, I'm happy enough to take the damage. Oops! I should have. I accidentally w didn't wait until his uh, combat step there. But I guess it's not punishing me that much. Yep, so it's just going to stick to the plan, take 7, he's got no cards left, um, he doesn't have any guys, he does have a Lux Cannon, which obviously can't deal with the, for the Fallen itself, so I'm going to start putting him on a really tight clock here, because I can bring back the Replica, uh, the uh, Blight Mamba with Corpse Cur. 
he drew the etched champion, which is a little bit awkward. But uh, thankfully my guy can still get the pass. And Corpsker can block it like a champ. And he's actually dead next turn if uh, he doesn't if he whiffs on a spell, since uh, Fallen cannot be blocked by the uh, champion despite how many protections the champion has, and I can obviously just jump one of my guys to deal the the final point. Or indeed just swing in with everyone. Or use this. I have so many options. Uh, just for gratuitousness, I'm going to murder his champion right now. Let's see how he likes that. Yeah. Uh, so he conceded at the overwhelming face of my multiple artifact removal spells. Well, uh, that, that draft went rather interestingly. It wasn't exactly ideal. Uh, see that sweet 8-packs uh, there? My deck ended up, despite how much I was mocking it, it wasn't like the worst poison deck in the world. Uh, it obviously had way too many cards that were not poisonous. It basically ended up being like a sort of controlling poison deck with all my removal spells. But it honestly seemed to work out alright. I managed to avoid any sort of nightmare, really good black green poison matchups but then on the other hand having looked at replay no, no one was actually black uh, well there was one guy but his deck didn't look very good uh, also one of the furnace there's one guy who was furnace celebration who had several of uh, Icar Clomers and Necropede's deck so it seemed a lot of the poison cards got taken up by a bunch of non-poison decks so we, we all ended up with sort of reasonably dodgy ones so my deck was able to prey on the Metalcraft decks with my uh, sort of solid disenchants and rebel and the other weak poison-ish or semi-poison decks just got crushed because they did not have the appropriate cards to, to fight the power of the Metalcraft decks. So there you go, you don't have to specifically draft the good archetypes every time. You can, you can still draft like a rogue strategy for a specific uh, draft metagame which sounds pretty, uh, pretty nonsense, but but hey, you know, I got there. So tune in the next time for the next Extreme Trades draft by me. Uh, hopefully I'll keep up my sort of reasonable streak. Good night.